Welcome to the History of Cell Theory video lesson. In this lesson, we'll be taking a look at the individual scientists that contributed to the discovery of cells. And then we'll highlight the three main uh, topics of the cell theory. Let's start off with the history of cell theory. And the first scientist that contributed to what became known as a cell theory was Robert Hooke. He did his work between 1635 and 1703 and he was the first per person to see dead cells. He did not actually know what he was looking at and what he was doing was studying cork under the microscope and he thought cells were empty. Antoine van Leeuwenhoek was the next scientist to contribute to the discovery of cells, doing his work between 1632 and 1723. He was the first person to see live cells, and he invented the first microscope, which was handheld, and it had approximately a 20x magnification. Two scientists came after these guys in the 1800s, and became and gained credit as having come up with the cell theory. Matthias Schleiden and Theodore Schwann. Schleiden worked with plants and Schwann worked with animals and together they came up with um, what is known today as the cell theory. The cell theory, the first main point is that Cells can perform all life processes. These life processes include synthesis, which you may remember is to build, reproduction, in other words, make more of themselves, respiration, the process of uh, providing energy to itself, and excretion, that is getting rid of waste inside the cell. The second main point of the cell theory is that all organisms are made up of cells. Whether, whether they are single cell, like some of the pond creatures that you saw earlier in the course, or multi-celled like us, all organisms are made up of cells. And the third main point is that cells only can come from other existing cells. That cells come from themselves. They don't come from any other inanimate objects. This will do it for the history of cell theory video lesson and this will of course lead us into our study of cells as we look at cell structures and their functions among other ways in which cells transport materials in and out of themselves.